everybody haven't made a video like this in quite a while. This one will be an introduction to what we are up to right now, and we'll see how things go from here. So it all kind of started with these crazy adventure kittens we got a few months ago. Shelby Sugar Paws and Hilma Spice Puff. The names are a bit up in the air, we'll get to that later. Anyway, there's a really cool adventure cat community that surrounds all of this and supports these activities. We thought it was really cool, want to participate. My cat, my wife cat, she hasn't always been into these types of activities, the outdoors and all of that, but she's really taken to it the past few years. We'll get into that, you know, outdoors, hiking, biking, that type of thing. As for me, I lived in a 67 Volkswagen bus for a year. I was easily swayed back into this lifestyle and this type of adventure, especially with these adventure cats we can haul around and have adventures with. We can get into all of this in great detail, from the Honda Element to the adventure cats, the gear we use and we've put together to do this. So leave comments and let us know for future videos. So now back to cat, the adventure cats, camping, and the Honda Element. Our first introduction to rooftop tents was in Africa. I was down there working, Cat came to visit, and a buddy of mine has a super awesome land cruiser with a rooftop tent. And he let us go out for our birthday. And we really enjoyed it. Uh, it was super comfortable. Cat really had a great time. Hopefully we can get her on camera and maybe we'll ask uh, her about her experience. And um, we kind of fell in love with rooftop tents. So like I was saying, this all brought us to exploring the Roof Nest Sparrow, which really does require a video of its own, but check this out a bit. It's incredibly well built, it's super comfy, moves your living situation out of the vehicle and uh, puts you up high. The cats also love it. As a matter of fact, they ask to get up in there when they're tired after we've been hiking. It's kind of weird, but pretty neat. This all seemed like a great way to fuel our passion for traveling, to go outside, get on bikes, go on hikes, and have Shelby and Hilma with us. They weren't about to miss out anyway. Before I jump into some of this Honda build out, which truly is awesome, we've had a bunch of comments on Instagram asking about it. Uh, we wanted to bring in a bit of this adventure cat community we've become a part of. The Shelby Sugar Paws and Hilma Spice Puff have their own Instagram account. It's at exhausted.kitties if you're interested. They've had so much support from the community being proper cat explorers that we thought we would, uh, you know, share a bit about the adventure cats that have supported us from day one. This week we are pleased to feature Saba, better known as Saba Tooth Tiger Kitten on Instagram. Saba hails from the great state of Maine and is a proper Meowton adventure kitten. Did I say that right, Meowton? Anyway, one day all four of us hope to meet Saba on one of our adventures. Thank you for everything, Saba. We'll feature another awesome adventure cat next time. So as we promised, some of the Honda build out. The Honda Element community borders on a cult following and we love it. You know, coming from a Volkswagen bus community, it makes perfect sense. There's some great videos out there from YouTubers that I learned a lot from. Element Van Life, Sage Roddy, Phil Chan, Steffi Lee, Fifth Element Camping. The list really goes on and on, but everyone was building out of wood and that's cool. But I'm a metal guy, so I decided that I would fabricate it all out of metal, specifically aluminum. Now I didn't say I was an aluminum guy. So it turned out really cool and it's super nice. And like I said, I work in metal, but I actually work in steel. And I'm a sculptor. So if you want it to be abstract, if you want it to look cool, then I'm your guy. As soon as I wanted to work in aluminum and it was something that had to fit perfectly in the car, it was kind of game over. Did I mention this started as wanting to just build a cat perch in the car? Anyway, this was no small feat and I couldn't have accomplished it without the help of my buddy Phil, who knows a lot about aluminum. We bent, we riveted, and welded until the boxes were perfect for the camp kitchen, and the storage was dialed in, including that cat perch. Where are those cats on that cat perch? This whole build-out actually requires a full video on its own. So there you have it. That's our introduction video. We're gonna be on the road for a while, and we'll try to keep things updated. Make sure to go check out at exhausted.kitties on Instagram for complete up-to-date adventure info from Shelby and Hilma. And if you dig that adventure cat thing, please go check out Sabatooth Tiger Kitten 
and keep an eye out for more vids surrounding the Honda Element, the Roof Nest Sparrow, and we'll see you from the next place we land. Cheers from the forest.